it's good to see you back for more Explore Tulsa. Now, Steve, you've been a part of local sports for a while, haven't you? I have, but there are only a handful of guys around here that have made real impressions in the games they've called. And one of them is Jinx Trojan announcer Don King. Back in the 60s, when TU played uh, basketball at the Pavilion, my sister is blind and she went to TU, so she was a big sports fan. I took her to a basketball game and the batteries in her radio went out, so I ended up having to announce the game to her when I was about 10 years old. So walking out, she said, you know, you did about as good a job as the announcer did and the light bulb clicked on, so I'm fortunate to be doing what I've wanted to do since I was about 10 years old. came in uh, 1980, but it was really the oil business uh, that brought me to, uh, to Tulsa. I had dabbled it still in sports, but had gotten married, had a couple of boys, and uh, couldn't really make it on small radio income, so had to get into the family uh, business, and we ended up selling our business, moving to Tulsa, and then uh, from there, in 1980, I got a chance to do some work for Teleproductions Unlimited, which was a freelance production company that did a lot of high school sports, college sports for Tulsa Cable. And then uh, ended up with Jinx on our radio station on The Buzz and started doing their games on the radio since 2003. So I've been fortunate. My first Jinx Union game was 1988. So that goes back probably farther than just about anybody. Right now, Coach and I are trying to develop a little record book uh, for Jinx over the years. So when you look at the names of Rocky Kalmus and Sean Mahan, who went on to play in the NFL, Garrett Mills, who went on to play in the NFL and was a great player at TU, uh, Kiwan Jones with some of his exploits at, at Jinx, uh, the names go on and on. It's just amazing how a lot of those kids have grown up through the system as, as youth football players emulating the high school players and I think that's one of the big reasons for their success is their youth programs have been so um, outstanding over the years in developing players and they grow up wanting to uh, to be where they are right now. The technology now is, is amazing. They can break down a, a game at the end of Friday night and email it to the particular athletes. And those football players can watch highlights of their game from Friday night over the weekend, get tape of uh, their opponent and study it at home. And, and so technology is just magnificent compared to what it used to be. There's no question my passion and enthusiasm for the games that I do, uh, whether it's the, the shock or, or jinx or, or helping out the driller sometimes, uh, is as good as it's, it's ever been. And I look forward to, uh, I mean, this is a, this is a job, if, if guys can do it into their 80s, then I'm not sure I'll be doing it into my 80s. Uh, I don't know I'll be that fortunate, but still it's a job to where if, if you can keep up with the times and keep up with everything, this is a job that you can do for a long time. Mm -hmm.